Hey everybody, welcome back to Women Carry Knives. On the table in front of us is a freaking sharp knife. This thing is just awesome. This, you guys, is the Max Ace Babylon. Um, this actually retails for $215.95 and is worth the num is worth the money. Now, um, this <laughs> We had talked about this, and I believe it was one of the lives, and this had just about taken one of uh, Therapeutic Edge's fingers off. It is so damn sharp. I'm just going to say it that way. You are going to get with this one a great S35VN. No, I'm sorry. This is an M390 blade. Um, Tantal blade with a satin finish. This knife is just freaking sick. Now it is a button lock. Now watch this. Literally, you guys, this will take your finger off. It is a freaking guillotine. But man, oh man, is it just awesome. So I stole it from him so I could carry it and just to see what I thought. And it is, oh my God, just absolutely fabulous. Funky looking, kind of, you know, I don't know, alienish looking, but so awesome. These thumb studs, I don't even know if they call them thumb, stu thumb studs, but they're freaking crazy. They are thumb studs. Yeah, they're, they're just crazy. Now, that's actually what Therapeutic Edge was doing is he was adjusting his thumb studs when it did drop on his finger. Where's your finger? How does your finger look? Looks fine. Oh, it looks good. See, you can see here. Nice little scar there. Do you know where my MBK turbo is? I do not know where your turbo you is. You carried it the other day. Then um, it would probably be up with all of my knives. It isn't. It isn't? Then I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Um, sorry about that, guys. I lost my train of thought. Okay, so M390 reverse tanto blade with satin finish. You have thumb stud openings with a button lock. Um, this is definitely a large knife. If we're going to take a look at some of the specs right off the bat, one, two, three, about a three and three quarter inch blade with, I mean, you know, you're, you're a three and three quarter inch cutting edge. Now your closed is going to be just under, oh no, it's about five inches, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, just a hair over five inches, which is going to give you a total overall length of eight, over eight and a half inches, almost eight and three quarters. Now, I did not put down a weight for this one, so let's go ahead and weigh it and see where we come at it. It is a pretty heavy knife. Let's see what we're looking at here. Okay. We are looking at five and a half ounces. Now, actually, I thought it was going to be a little bit heavier than that. But I was wrong. Oh, for my fellow grams people, it is 156 grams. So that's definitely a good weight and a good size. This thing is so smooth. I mean, crazy smooth. You're gonna, you are gonna, <laughs> if you're not careful, you really are gonna chop a finger off on with this. Your fidget factor is insane absolutely insane. I'm absolutely loving it. Now, as I said, your thumb studs are adjustable, so you can adjust the positioning. You know, not a whole lot, but you do have the ability to adjust your positioning for that a little bit. And as you can see, you know, some people like it down a little bit further. Some people like it up a little bit further. For where it is right now, is absolutely perfect. And you know, if you're going to flip this, if you're going to spidey flick it, you're going to want to make sure your fingers are out of the way because it will, as I said, take your finger off. Has it been a great workhorse? Has it been a great knife to play with? Absolutely. Fidget Factor is through the roof on this one. Now, I'm a huge fan of the Solaris, which is the knife by Orion Knives. Um, this has, I mean, it's the same thing. This is probably one of the smoothest button locks that I've had next to the Solaris. Um, and I think that's why I like it so much. Now, even though it is a large knife, I do like it. I have been carrying it because the handle tapers down and is a bit smaller. Um, it feels really good in hand, but there isn't anything I don't feel that I can't use this knife for. 
uh, due to the size and the blade. And I love, you know, the reverse tanto on it is really, really awesome. So let's take a look at it and do a couple of size comparisons where my comparison knives just walked away. So we can take a look at it next to the Presidio. For those of you that know the Benchmade Presidio, as you can see, I do consider this a large knife. And this one also is going to be Sorry. a large knife. What was your comparison knife? It was all the spider codes you just took away from me. Oh, there you go. No, we'll take a look at it next to the Mini Presidio. That's fine. So as you can see, I consider this more of a medium-sized knife. Again, still a large knife. For those of you that don't know... Presidios. Grab a PM3 and go to town. We'll look at the PM3. A lot of people know the PM3s, and I still cannot flick this one. <laughs> it's stiff. Well, plus the nails. Yeah. So, any of the spider coats, some of them I can flick right now, like my Arctic Storm, I can actually do that one. Um, but I'm going to have to take my nails off. So, you can see, definitely a larger size knife but still loving it. Um, this is not one that you would want to open in your pocket. Absolutely not. Because of, like I said, it, it really will take your finger off you guys, but I love the look of it. It, to me, it's so, I don't even know, like spaceship looking kind of to me. I love the accent of the thumb studs being like that blue. Also, your clip and you have the little roller ball in there. And then we have some cat butt because of course we're going to have cat butt. Hello, kitty. Always got to have some cat butt. He's trying to get to his food. All right. Don't come this way, kitty. We don't want any lucky kitty paws. All right, you guys can probably see the shadow over there. That is my cat, little tail, see? Ooh, hello. All right. Absolutely loving this one, you guys. You got a little bit of jimping back here. Is this for larger hands? Definitely for larger hands. Is it for smaller hands? I think so. I think it's great for smaller hands, too. Will it cut a cat's tail? Choo-choo, just kidding. Love you, kitty. Um... For a higher-end knife, a more expensive knife, I think it's great. I would recommend it. I know my husband would recommend it. He loves this knife, too. This one is definitely going to spend a little little more time in my pocket. I've really enjoyed it so far, and I would love to take it out and do even a little more with it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Like I said, this is the Max Ace Babylon. Retails for about $215, $216, somewhere around there. Um, definitely one to check out if you can. If you are not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you here all the time. Feel free to hit that like button on the way out. And as always, feel free to leave me a question or a comment in the comment section. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, thanks for joining me.